what is up guys it's a wanted turtle and today we are doing some more Yu-Gi-Oh openings we have a new set in Yu-Gi-Oh speed duel uh, arena of the lost souls uh, so this is kind of like a new format it's kind of uh, similar to the duel links um, game and so it's kind of like a simplified version of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's uh, honestly I never played it, but it seems like it's very similar to old school Yu-Gi-Oh. However, you're limited by the number of monster zones and stuff like that. And the, some of the, the things have been changed and there's like these new uh, kind of like character ability cards. So um, never tried it, but I am interested in it. Uh, one weird thing is that the, you know, I think your decks are like only like 20 something cards. You have, while we do have 36 packs in it, um, there's only four cards per, per pack, which is kind of strange. And there's not always like a rare. I don't think there's rares. It's just like some supers and ultras. So should be interesting. I'm um, not sure what I make of it, but there's some pretty cool cards available in the set, which I'm hoping to pull. And uh, so with all that guy being said, let's get into it, guys. Okay. Yu-Gi-Oh! Arena of the Lost Souls. Let's jump into this new set. And so these cards, they kind of have a new, um, so let's see if we can kind of see it. Uh, you can, all right, here we go. So it says Speed Duel. So the cards are different. And my understanding is that you can use uh, Speed Duel cards for the regular card game, however, not the other way around. And so a lot of these cards are for like very old if in the, this is like some of the old school Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Um, so it's kind of strange. I can't, I'm not a fan of this idea where you can't use uh, the stuff from the regular set. And oh man, Rabid Horseman. This is probably from like what, Metal Raiders or something? Uh, so some very old cards. Mystics Horseman. I think this came in Starter Deck Yugi. This would be interesting, guys. Uh, I, 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 there's a lot more... Um, I think they're coming out with more and more sets of this. I think the next one's called like Into the Deep or something. And I wonder if this is a uh, more of a nostalgia kick and we're kind of like how Blue Eye, like the Blue Eye set was just terrible. It's just like a lot of cards from the show that it's like, why are these cards? Why do these even exist? And then Metal Raiders started to actually like establish like, all right, here's some actual good cards. And I wonder if this is the equivalent for the Speed Duel um, game version where all right here let's let's get out some <laughs> cards that uh you'll probably never use uh that that's just my read on the situation and definitely that's not something i've done like extensive research on uh but that's that's so far what i feel when i see these cards is like you would never you would never use this all right maybe jack's knight although this thing all right let's take a look 18 or sorry 1900 uh but for for a um for a uh, tribute, that's crazy. Buster Blader. So yeah, these are just very, uh, very much like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! TV show cards. I feel like, and they're also the bad ones. <laughs> All right, let's see. Snake hair. So yeah, these these things are just uh, shockingly bad. A lot of vanilla monsters that, uh, yeah, they have no place. <laughs> Maybe maybe there's different things in Speed Duel's different strategies for a lot of this stuff, but I'm not sure what it is. A lot of fusions that are just super weak. Actually, when, whenever I did uh, actually play Yu-Gi-Oh, like, fusion was never a thing, even though there were always fusion cards. Here we go. Great Mammoth, just a zombie mutant. Block attack, okay. That was actually a card, not a good one. Uh, Magicians Unite, and then Snake Air. Oh, we have not even gotten, like... Uh, again, I don't think there's rares, but we haven't gotten a foil at all. Uh, so I think some of the good ones, there's, I, I'm curious about some of these character cards, but I think on that there's like a special Karibo, I think it's Sphere Karibo, as well as a Call of the Haunted, which is not a trap card. Uh, so I guess traps are a little bit different in this game. Armored Zombie, I think this also came, was this, in, I don't know, I just remember that my brother played this card. Uh, Shield and Sword, not a very good card as well. However, it was kind of made its uh, debut in the show. Harpy's Pet Dragon, it's basically, let's see, you gain attack, but however, it does require two sacrifices, so, nope. Alright, let's see, Common Charity, Possessed Dark Soul, not familiar with this one. Wasteland, oh, if that was a magic card, that'd be better. Alright, Sword of the Dragon's Soul. And uh, so we have our first hollow. So I guess we can put that up here. 
think that's don't do not think that's a good one. Um, so I do like the idea that Konami is trying something new, this whole speed duel thing, and kind of like maybe pick up off from their, some of their success in the duel links. However, uh, so far I'm not a big fan of it. I'm hopeful, I'm optimistic about it, but yeah, like Skull Servant, this, this card does not need to exist. It serves no purpose. <laughs> I could be wrong. But, oh, D-Spell, this is super nostalgic. It came in both Yugi and Kaiba. And so I had the Kaiba deck, and then my brother had the uh, Yugi deck, which um, I felt like Kaiba was like a combo and kind of had some more brute strength in like Lajin and Battle Ox, where Yugi had Summon Skull, Change of Heart, and Soul Exchange. And then, or Kaiba had the crazy combo of Lord of D, Fluted Summon Dragon, and then Blue Eyes. But the chances of pulling that off are pretty rare. And then they each had their good cards, the, the ones that you could, um, if you, so what, what we did, like when I did enter like a tournament, we kind of just, I just come, borrowed some cards from my siblings so that you had like uh, a bunch of trap, pull, or I think it was three is the limit. Uh, whatever the limit was, three or four uh, trap holes, fissures, cards that are just instant removals that really changed the pace of the game. And since I had Kyber deck, so I did have access to change of heart, soul exchange, I think change of heart was just like the most broken thing. Like, oh, here's my blue eyes. Let me attack you for a bunch and give me your blue eyes and I'll turn it into a summon skull and attack you for it. So strong. So yeah, that was really exciting. Uh, compared to Pokemon where like the amount of, we played Yu-Gi-Oh like, I don't know, 20 times uh, as much as we played <laughs> Pokemon. So that that was like why I was really into Yu-Gi-Oh. It's just very easy to play. The starter deck was an actual deck. Ooh, here we go. We have a skill card. What do we have? Uh, this is um, Ishizu, uh, Malik's sister. Okay, let's see. At the start of the duel, place this card in your field zone and flip it over. Ooh, this looks really cool. Two Mother Pharaoh. Okay. Shizu skill field card. This card is is treated as Necro Valley. All grave all grave keepers monsters gain two hundred. Hmm. That doesn't sound very good, but it's really cool. I like that. Put this over here. Let's see, we'll leave it on this side. Okay, so then we got Queen's Knight, Zombie Tiger, and then Wicked Breaking Flameberg Bow. <laughs> Not sure what that one is. Uh, so we did get our first skill card. All right, this is this is pretty cool, um, especially when they just don't like kind of like water down the game and they add some different mechanics. Uh, maybe maybe it'll continue to evolve as time goes when more sets come out. Uh, so you know, because like to be honest, the the card game as it is right now, I feel like I don't know, there's just a lot going on. Just the boards they develop like instantly, and there's a lot of this insane amount of comboing. So maybe I could see. Um, well, I probably wouldn't get it into the play the the real game. Uh, this one, like a simplified version, might be actually more up my alley. So we have Bonds. I think he's the grave, the grave one. Grave yard. Straight to the grave. Yeah, maybe that's a good start as far as being correct. Uh, all right, dinosaur and zombie and rock monster gain 200 attack. All right, so these um, skill cards. I wonder if this just affects your side of the field and kind of like basically shows like all right this is the archetype that they're playing um so yeah very interesting i feel like these ones kind of similar to a lot of these cards is these feel pretty weak i wonder if there's other skill cards that get more powerful i think there's a pegasus one but that one's pretty cool i wonder if it's like tunes or something common charity again magical ghost amazon spy and then shield and sword so I'm guessing these actually count as like some of the hits. So I feel like we've got potentially two cool ones uh, these, in these skill cards, although they don't sound that powerful. Still looking for that Kariba or Call the Haunted. Call the Haunted was just such a cool card. All right, we got a Wasteland, Magical Ghost, and then the Great Mammoth Gold Find. Wow, the set is weird. Four cards. I guess you only need 20 to actually play so I guess that's maybe a valid reason for these packs to be so small uh, and um, you know when it comes to 
I, I feel like we talk a lot about how when packs have like guaranteed um, guaranteed rates and now now this I guess we're well we remove the rare slot which eh, I guess that's fine um, but now like hollows are actually rare so maybe maybe that's a good thing so we can actually celebrate when we get like an ultra rare Buster Blair common charity and then possess dark soul all right guys last pack let's see if we can get something I feel like so far, not familiar with the entire set, but so far we definitely haven't pulled anything of worth. Half shut, snake hair, and then a block attack. So we've only got three hollows in Sword of Dragon Soul, and then Ishizu, Ishtar, and Bonds. Uh, so it's different. I guess I maybe like this a little bit better than Infinity Chasers, which feels like super dud. Um, but not even not even like on the same spectrum as Savage Strike as far as enjoyment opening. Uh, but we'll continue this as we go and hopefully we'll get a little bit better. Maybe we'll get some better pulls. Uh, so um, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the content or here to uh, want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, let me know by hitting that like button down below or leaving me a comment. Um, and if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram. And I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.